And now we teased it before. We're going to deliver. There it is. There's the music. So We're excited. going in the clinic with Dr. <laughs> Malika. Okay, so doctor, you're seeing a lot of patients with respiratory infections, but they are not COVID. Exactly. So, you know, we certainly experienced a surge in COVID cases this summer and continue to see it here and there. But a lot of people are coming in with viral symptoms like sore throat and cough and stubby nose, body aches, fatigue and even fever and they're testing negative for COVID as well as for the flu and RSV. Now remember there has always been other viruses that cause cold and flu like symptoms mm -hmm. including adenoviruses and rhinoviruses and enteroviruses that we generally don't test for. So if you're feeling sick the treatment involves rest, drinking lots of fluids, taking over-the-counter fever and pain reducers like acetaminophen found in Tylenol and ibuprofen, as well as decongestants and antihistamines and cough suppressants if you need them. Now, most people will get better on their own within about seven to 10 days. You should test for COVID at home, and if you're positive and at high risk, call your provider, and you really don't need to seek medical care unless you have worrisome symptoms like severe pain, shortness of breath, chest pressure, recurrent vomiting, high fever, or you can't stay well hydrated. So to prevent the spread of these illnesses, of course, we go back to the basics. You want to wash your hands often. Mm -hmm. You want to wear a mask around others. And of course, stay home until you're 24 hours fever free without medications and feeling better. That's the CDC's recommendation for all of these respiratory illnesses. Dr. Malika, always leaving us with some great information, dropping some gems. <laughs> if you're watching right now and you have any type of medical question for Dr. Malika, you can reach her on Facebook at Dr. Malika Marshall, or just email her at drmalika at cbs.com.